What a week. Hey everybody, welcome to the SMA Journey 51 blog. All right guys, in this week's video, I'm not gonna be speaking about pharmaceutical companies or their ongoing or upcoming clinical trials. In this week's video, I wanna revisit a topic that I spoke about in previous videos. And it's a topic that even I had to revisit this week. You know, we're all human. We have good days and we have bad days. And we hope that our good days far outnumber the bad ones. But my Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week were three days that I would like to send back and get my money back. And unfortunately, we can't do it. I almost wanted to go to bed, wake up to find out if they were just a bad dream. On Monday and Tuesday, I spent the majority of the day talking to my insurance company. As most of you know, I went through a CT scan about a month ago, and the test results revealed that I've got severe muscle damage in my right hip. My right hip is causing me a lot of pain, and it's because I've lost all of the muscle in my hip, and I'm now sitting on bone, and I'm also sitting on some of those nerves. And when I sit on these nerves, it causes my right hip, my calf, my ankle, and even my foot to go numb on me. So my doctor and my physical therapist, Laura, recommend that I get a new wheelchair cushion. So I talked to my insurance company. They gave me a couple of phone numbers to call. And when I called them, nobody returned my call. You would think somebody would want my money. Now, whenever I was a kid, if I needed a new wheelchair cushion, my dad would go down to the local wheelchair shop that was in our neighborhood and he would just pick one up for me. But back then they were either open cell phone or closed cell phone. Nowadays they use all this space age material and these cushions are extremely expensive. The one that I'm looking at is about $500, but I saw cushions online that range from $2,000 to $4,000. So I definitely want to see if my insurance company will purchase this for me. So my insurance company has been really good. They gave me the number and they tried to help me out as much as they can. I'm just having trouble getting a hold of these companies. So I'll keep struggling through and it'll get better as time goes on. Now I usually go to work out with Laura on Thursday, but she was gonna be gone Thursday all the way through the weekend. So I went to work out with her on Wednesday. And when I went there, I was anticipating having a great workout like I usually do. When I first get there, we normally start out with the muscles that are in my neck and my shoulders because I wanna be able to control my head from falling forward, especially if I have to lean forward to reposition myself in my chair or if I have to cough. If I do this and that muscle fatigues and my head goes forward, my body tends to follow, which makes it really difficult for me to get back up into a seated position. So we do four different exercises. The first two, Laura will stand behind me and she'll put the palm of her hand on the left side of my head and push my head to the right. And I've got a resistor from doing that. Then she'll put the palm of her hand on the right side of my head and push it to the left. Again, my job is just to keep my head as straight as possible and not let her bend my neck. Then she'll stand on my side and she'll put the palm of her hand on the front of my head and push my head backwards. So these three exercises, I normally do pretty well. But when she puts the palm of her hand on the back of my head and pushes my head forward, this is the exercise that normally gives me quite a challenge because those muscles in my neck will fatigue rather quickly. I can usually go through six or eight repetitions. Then after that, I need to stop for a little while because that muscle is starting to get tired. But if I stop for about 30 seconds or a minute, that muscle will recover and I can continue on with the exercises. But when I went there on Wednesday, that muscle fatigued really quickly and it didn't recover, which made the rest of my workout extremely challenging. So I kind of got bummed out about it and really I let it bother me and I shouldn't have. Laura told me that everything was great, not to worry about it, I was just having a bad day. But no amount of encouragement that she was gonna give me was gonna help me get out of the bad mood that I put myself into. So the message that I got for you this week is that you're gonna have bad days every once in a while and I did Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But when I woke up on Thursday, which was yesterday, I told myself, I can't let what happened on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday dictate how my Thursday or the rest of the week is gonna go. And we all need to think about that. You know, I try to tell everybody, keep a smile on your face, that we all have a lot to look forward to. And we really do. If you think about it, two years ago, we as SMA patients didn't have a lot to look forward to. 
now with Spinraza as an active FDA approved treatment and with other pharmaceutical companies, you know, they're going to have treatments in the next year or so. We have a lot to look forward to. So if you're having a bad day, allow it to happen because you're not going to be able to do anything about it. We're just destined to have bad days every once in a while. But don't let today, if it is bad, dictate how your tomorrow is going to go. When you wake up the next day, think about this. It's a new day. What happened in the past is in the past. You can't do anything about it. Live your life for today. Work hard today so that your tomorrow can be even brighter than it is. All right? Eric Potts, a friend of mine that passed away about a year ago, used to tell me, what have you done for yourself today? Or what have you done for yourself this week that's going to make you a better person? And on my internet site, I gave everybody a challenge. If you go out, smile at a stranger. If you can get a stranger to smile back at you, you'll be surprised at how fast it'll put a smile on your face. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's message, and I hope that you learned something out of it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, if you subscribe to my channel, make sure that you click on the little bell icon to be notified of any new videos that I do. I hope everybody's had a fantastic week. God bless you. And until next Sunday, bye-bye.